Hello everyone and welcome back to the Frame Channel. Hydropower is a one of the many forms of sustainable energy production, taking advantage of the gravitational potential energy stored in water to store energy and then extracting its kinetic energy as electricity. A typical hydroelectric power system uses an enormous dam to store river water in a reservoir in a process known as impoundment. These dams are usually built on large rivers with a large elevation difference. The dam holds water behind it, releasing it only through the small intakes near the base of the wall. The moving water from the penstocks drives turbine blades, spinning the turbine shaft that leads into the generators that use the powerful rotation to generate electricity. The amount of electricity that can be generated is determined by the depth of the intake under the reservoir's water surface and the rate at which the water flows through the turbines. Water escapes hydropower systems into downstream areas through spillways. The spillway maintains reservoir water levels and prevents flooding or uncontrolled overflow. At maximum capacity, the water level behind a dam will be equal to the height of the spillway. And as soon as more water enters the reservoir, the excess water will be drained by the spillway. These massive dams are usually constructed with roller compacted concrete technology, also known as RCC. There's a standby crusher plant that crushes several metric tons of boulders daily to produce the aggregate needed. The use of fly ash increases the homogeneity, stability, and impermeability of the dam with low heat of hydration. And this fly ash can be sourced from thermal power plants. The concrete is mixed constantly in a batching and mixing plant, and the temperature of the concrete can be controlled with the use of an ice and chilling plant. That's the end of this feature on the frame. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in our next video.